Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some of the miracle stories that are happening right here in our own city, in our own state, every day. My name is Tony Kosha, and the title of our show is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. Please note, uh, this show is not about religion, and we're not trying to change anyone's religion, and we're not trying to get you to join any religion. Uh, it's just about miracle stories. I don't know of any religion on the planet that doesn't talk about miracles. Uh, that's why religions begin, because they have something that's telling them there's really a God. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to just talk about miracles and leave the decisions about all that up to you. So we don't care what religion you are. Uh, we just want to talk about miracles. Uh, if you are an atheist, uh, I'm, I think you'll enjoy the program as well, although I can't guarantee you'll remain an atheist very long after you hear uh, many, many convincing stories, uh, coincidence kinds of stories about miracles. Uh, you can email me your own stories if you wish. Um, we'll try to use all we can on the show. I can't guarantee we will, depending on volume and time. But you're welcome to send your stories on to us, and we will mention them when we can. Uh, you can send them to the following email address. Um, uh, but please notice that if we do use your story, we won't mention your name. We'll keep you anonymous. And we suggest that in your story, when you send it to us, don't use your correct name. That way, anyone listening will not be able to figure out that it was you that sent the story in. Uh, the email address you can send your stories to uh, is very easy to remember. It consists of two words and three numbers. The first word is Tony, spelled T O N Y. And the second word is and, spelled A N D. And the numbers are 777. So once again, the name is Tony and 777 at AOL.com. Well, let us begin. Our first coincidence miracle today is something that happened to me. As most of you know, if you've been listening uh, every week, um, I go to public places like parks or beaches or vacation spots uh, when I have time, and I pass out little business cards that summarize a lot of things about my website and about my two books. Um, and if you remember the title of the book and you Google the title of the book, you'll get a wealth of information. So I'll just give you the title of the book again. It's the same as the title of our radio show. Uh, the title of the book is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. So one more time, Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. And we have a website, and the website uh, has a lot of free info on it. I'll give you the website. It's W. C A T for cat, so it's W cat radio. So that's like two words, right? W cat radio dot com slash miracles slash. One more time. W cat radio dot com slash miracles slash. So I was at the beach one day and passing out cards, and I was there for a while passing them out, and I uh, got to a point where I, I came to a blanket or a couple of blankets where there were four college uh, aged ladies there. They told me they were at college and uh, they were taking a break. They had already seen my business card and my flyers and that caused them to ask a lot of questions. That's fine. I welcome questions. I want people to have total clarity about my books. And they were actually pretty negative. But they were giving me a tough time. They were asking a lot of tough questions. They uh, they didn't. They couldn't believe that somebody really experienced fifty thousand miracles. They heard the title of the book, Tony's fifty thousand coincidence miracles, and I don't blame them. I understand. So I explained to them that this has been happening to me now for fifty years, and I average about three miracles a day. Some days I get more. Some days I get less. I'm not special. I'm. I've met a lot of people. They. They also have coincidence miracles. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you are, you people, you know, you give me your miracles every week and I broadcast them. So it's not unusual for people to have miracles. Um, and, and that's why I wrote the two books and I have the radio show. I'm trying to encourage everybody to notice their miracles. And they're kind of tucked away in our day in the little minutiae that's happening to us every day. 
So they asked a lot of questions, and I, I think I spent about 20, 25 minutes trying to convince them. And finally they said, um, well, why don't you tell us one of your miracles? And I said, well, in the two books in my website, you can listen to uh, like 200 miracles on my website. I've got 100 miracles in each book. They said, no, uh, give us a miracle that has happened to you since the since you wrote the books. Tell us a miracle that's happened to you that'll convince us that God is you know, really talking to you and you really get miracles every day. I said, okay. So I went into my mind and my heart. I asked God. I said, please, God, inspire me with what miracle should I tell them. And what popped into my head was to tell them uh, my miracle story, which I call three eights four times by 6 p.m. Once again, I call this miracle three eights four times by 6 p.m. And it relates to a story, a true story, a miracle that happened to me. Uh, I was inspired one day to take on a big project and to uh, uh, spend a lot of time developing a new plan, new program to help a lot of people know about our books and uh, be encouraged and convinced to get the copies of the books. My mission is to get the people to get our books and read them. Uh, it's not to make money. Uh, you can tell if you go on our website, you'll see that we give a lot of things away for free. Um, but I didn't have the time to do these things that were popping into my head. So so I said to God uh, in the beginning of this miracle story, I said, God, please inspire me with how will I know that I'm really hearing you, that you really, really want me to do this, and then I'll go for full bore and do it. But, you know, I need to be convinced you want me to do this because it's going to be extremely time-consuming and I'm not sure I can do a good job at it unless I'm totally devoted and dedicated to it. And so I asked him for, uh, to give me an inspiration. And uh, by the way, in the Bible uh, and in my two books, this is called fleecing. Uh, it's called fleecing. When you ask God to please help you, convince you that you're really hearing him, and to give you some kind of an inspiration on how will you know. And so here's what came into my mind. I got inspired that the next day I would see the number 888 four times before 6 p.m. Let me say that once again, that I would see the number 888 four times before 6 p.m. And this got me very excited because I knew if I actually saw three eights four times by 6 p.m., I would be positive that God was talking to me. So I was happy to get up the next day. I had some things to do. One was I had to go shopping uh, and get some things uh, before I went on a long trip. I had a trip I had to go on that was going to take more than an hour to get to where I had to go and more of an hour, more than an hour to get back. And I was going to probably spend an hour and a half out there at the meeting. And then I had to get to the hospital to visit a friend by 6 p.m. So it was going to be a pretty busy day and a lot of driving. So I went off to do my shopping first. I went to a, a grocery store and I picked up some things. And one of the things I had to get was a light bulb. So I was in that aisle. I picked a light bulb and I put it in the cart and I started to walk away. And I got inspired. No, Tony, get another light bulb. And I said, geez, Lord, I only need one light bulb. And he said, no, I got inspired. Trust me, get another light bulb. So I got another light bulb. So I got two light bulbs and bought some other things. I got to the checkout counter, and the bill came to $28.88. Let me say that again. The bill came to $28.88. So that was my first sighting of three eights. Uh, and if I didn't get the second bulb, it wouldn't have been $28.88. So that's why I was inspired to get the extra bulb. So you know, I'm telling you, this is how God works. He inspires us and... And lo and behold, 2888, my first sighting. I was all really excited now. And um, I left and I pulled out of the driveway of the, the uh, uh, grocery store. And I made a left turn and I came to the first red light. And at the first red light, I noticed I was in back of a car uh, in front of the light. We had stopped at the red light and the car in front of me had a license plate number 888. So that was my second sighting. Already now it's about 9.30 in the morning roughly, and I've seen three eights twice already, and I still have until 6 p.m. So I took the groceries home, unloaded the car, uh, did some other things at home. Uh, then I had to drop my car off at the, the garage to be serviced, and it had some repair work to be done. So they gave me a loaner uh, for my trip, because I had a, this trip I had to go on that day. 
so they gave me a loaner car and they had my car and and then I took off for my trip uh, about an hour an hour and 10 minutes to, to the office that I was meeting at and then about another hour and 15 minutes to get back and I was going to meet there for about an hour and a half so I went off to do that, and I thought, yeah, I'll probably see a lot of 3.8s on the highway, license plates, uh, a lot of phone numbers on trucks, you know, advertising their phone numbers have 3.8s, and I know this from driving on highways, I'll probably see a lot of 3.8s. Well, I went, I drove the hour and 15 minutes down, I went to the meeting, I drove an hour and 15 minutes back, and then I had to get ready to go to the hospital and visit a friend who was uh, counting on me to show up by 6 p.m., and in that whole trip, uh, let's say it was driving on the on the highway, uh, like two and a half hours, I didn't see any more three eights. Imagine that was unbelievable to me. You know, all the phone numbers on trucks, et cetera, et cetera. So now it's quarter to six. I arrive at the hospital. I'm in the the hospital parking garage. I took a while to get a parking place. It's about quarter to six, and I'm I'm frustrated because I started out the day had two sightings right away by 9:30. I needed two more sightings, and it's quarter to six, and it's not going to happen. I, I can't see how it's going to happen. I'm going into the hospital to see a friend of mine. Well, the next thing that happened was as I got out of the car, my eyes noticed the odometer on the car that I was loaned for today. It was a very old car. It had 300,000 miles, but the last three digits were 888. So I had driven, by driving on the highway with this loaner car, if I didn't have the loaner car, this would have never happened. But the, the mileage on the odometer was 300,000, 888. So if I didn't get the loaner car, I would not be seeing the 38s. I'd be driving my car. So that was, now I've got three sightings. And I'm thinking, I looked at my watch, and it was like 555, and that's a holy time. You know, 555. PM is three fives, and three fives means the holy presence of God. So at three fives, holy presence of God, I just saw three eights, and my cell phone beeps because I just got a text message. I look at it, and it's my client who sends me sales numbers when he's beating his budget, and he sent me his sales number for the day, and the last three digits on his sales for today was 888. So at 555, uh, the holy number, 555, the presence of God. I saw the odometer with three eights, and simultaneously my iPhone had the sales from the client also of three eights. While I was telling the three ladies this story, they kept looking at each other and smiling and rolling their eyes, so I knew that the story was impacting them, but I didn't realize until I got to the end, because here's what happened at the end. One of the women who seemed to be the leader of the group um, and didn't mind speaking her mind, she said, tell me, why did you pick that story of three eights? Why did you pick that specific story to tell us? And I said, well, it's because I asked God. When you said to tell you a story, I asked God, inspired me, please give me something. Which one should I tell the ladies? And he inspired me to tell you that story. She said, well, let me tell you why I'm asking. She showed me her arm, and she had a, a very large tattoo on her arm, and the tattoo was a number, 888. And she told me that in her life, she's seen the number 888 in her life many, many times, and that's why she got the number 888 tattooed on her arm, because for her, every time something special was happening in her life, she would see 38 somewhere, and she was serious about it. She had a very large tattoo of 38s. And I got to tell you, all three ladies got very interested in our book and told me they were going to check our website at wcatradio.com slash miracles slash Again, wcatradio.com slash miracles slash. By the way, this radio broadcast is episode number 176. There's another part of the same story on episode 159. So I encourage everyone to listen to both episode 159 and 176, and you'll get the full impact of this fantastic miracle story. God bless you all. I'll talk to you next week.